and cast her chat. Thank you. Maybe. Echo shot. Echo scene. <laughs> Echo scene. Three, go. two, one, go! <laughs> Alright, so again, started uh, on um, Town and City. We've seen a lot of Town and City. Uh, I feel like every time Kaveen's on on the screen <laughs> from like last week as well. Anyway, uh, Kaveen not taking much damage at all, but as I say that, I'm sorry I've done this to you, Kaveen. I've cursed you. Oh, dear. Yeah, I... I I just need to say that people are trash so that they do well. That was a nice knockoff with the, the F tilde. Um, right now, it just seems like Echo Shana is just hanging on to his life, trying to make sure that he can get as much damage as he can with all this rage. Um, I think Shulk actually benefits a lot from the rage, just because when you knock someone off stage, it just makes it that much easier to go for like your jump and auto art edge guards. Mm -hmm. Your even just like regular cross slash does the job for you. So um, having that on deck would be really helpful. Um, ooh, nice back air. Yeah. Question is, how is Kavian going to adapt to all of these arts? How is he going to adapt to all of the combo flowchart on this character? And so far, it seems like stuffing it with back air is the way to really do it. Ooh. Interesting. There, it's a back air. Yeah, it seems like every time Echo Sean wants to jump and throw out an aerial, Kavina is ready for it. And you do not want to get hit by that up there. When you get hit by that up there, that's going to lead so much damage. Tech chases. It's weird. Echo Shot has the speed art, but it seems like Kavin is the really the one who calls the speed. Mario always has speed art on. <laughs> oh, it's that speed order. All right. Mm. Well, that lead wasn't too well lived. <laughs> wasn't long lived, I guess. Mm. Oh, he's doing a good job of doing a lot of those, like, keep away aerials, just, like, dashing back. Because he knows that Kavin wants to intercept with the uh, punish. Alright. that. Alright. Ooh. Oh. Kavin almost able to turn it around with the cape, but just sne low enough to be out of the range and just, like, cuts his feet off. The uh, second swing of that up B. I feel like Flood would be very effective in that scenario. Yeah. Just like downward point Flood. Yeah, definitely. Down throw. Didn't get too much off of it. Yeah, I'm really liking these Rory aerials from Echo Sean. Alright. Uh, at first, Kavin had that strong start. Echo Sean turned it around uh, and was kind of in the driver's seat. And now we're down to uh, some pretty neck and neck percents here. Where are we going? We're dead. Yeah. Oh, no. Great. Honestly, great reaction by Kavin to just like immediately go for the flood. Like, super unfortunate for Echo Sean. Like, what were you doing? And we'll see it in the replay. <laughs> but yeah, making, making the best of uh, his bad situation. So, uh, do you think Echo wanted to retreat and just like that's so fast? Felt. That's so hilariously tragic. Oh, um, so that flood edge guard, yeah, <laughs> effective. 
you know, like I said, you know, it's like good, good awareness and just like reaction with like the that was, you know, the most optimal like punish you can do there. It's just like, yeah, let me use the move that moves them. Ugh. All right, yep. So back to town and city. I feel like Mario really benefits from the tries plat. I don't know. I feel like Mario's like the stage. They got like the middle platform. Go for those lower percent upper strings. And then once you're at higher percent, you can go for the rising up air, up air, up B strings. I think the one benefit for Shulk here is when it goes to FB. When it goes to like that FB form state, that's where you can kind of have it. Yeah, uh, but in the contrast, like, because Mario is kind of, he's on the smaller side, he's, um, and he's kind of quick, so he's just like, let me try and get away. I mean, kind of uh, in the driver's seat right now. Oh right, yeah, every time Echo Sean goes for those drift back aerials, he's usually able to wall Kavin out. It's just that every time he tries to push forward, Kavin is ready for it, but that is the punish. Not Ooh, good. and the up smash. Nice. <laughs> Dunking on him. Ooh, that was a nice near to set him off. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, whenever Shulk is in lag, you can usually get your own punish out. Fiend doing an amazing job of just keeping it from away. Alright, Kevin in like a really good position. He doesn't really need to like hard commit too much and he's just gonna wait for those uh, openings to get just those good strings and yeah. Just like that. Ooh. We see a really powerful two stock. Only fifty damage on the second stock. Kevin gonna be moving yeah. on. Oh my. Yeah, he did not have a problem finishing those stocks. If anything, he always finished those stocks fairly early. Look at that. Yeah. Not too early, but like Ooh. at the right percents. Look at that. Alright, so yeah, actually no, let's just look a uh, at this a little bit longer. Um Oh my god, what a catch. Such a good pace. Such a good catch, man. Yeah, but we saw a lot of that this game. Yeah, do you see that little like jump read with the F tilt. He was mm -hmm. gonna do F tilt to jump read fair. So smart. Let's see what happens here. And then, whoa! This is where it gets freaks out and still gets caught by it. That was so good. There was so much pressure there. And then, yeah, right here at the end. Goshan just did not know how to push forward versus Kavi. <laughs> mm -hmm. Look at that.